Hello and welcome to another Elements tutorial. In this one we will cover how to simulate a fisheye effect. Now the question is why not do this in camera and save the time? The easy answer is cost. Fisheye lenses most photographers would agree are novelty lens. Their use is somewhat limited. Most kit lenses will now go down to 18 to 14 millimeters, while fisheye will generally sit around 20-ish. So we won't pick up any wider of a view. Consequently, as a cost cutting technique, we can simulate it in Photoshop. Okay, we're going to use um, this image here. First, what we want to do is we want to crop this down to a square. We can set a square by setting these two values the same number. It doesn't matter, matter what the number is, it just has to be the same. What we're going to do, we're going to crop out a square. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to hit enter. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to filter, distort, and spherize. Make sure this is all maxed out. Mode normal. And we're just going to do this once. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to the um, selection tool, the elliptical marquee tool. We're going to try and center the, put this as close to the edge as possible here. Hold shift, get a perfect circle. Select this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit control shift I, which inverts the selection. Bring up our paint bucket tool. If we set the tolerance to 250, I think it maxes out at 255. We can just color all of this right back here, all black. Control D, deselects. Now what we want to do is we want to um, bring back our marquee tool again, but pull it in just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to simulate the um, distortion that you get around the edges in a typical fisheye lens. Just draw it in a little bit like that. Okay. Control Shift I again. Invert the selection. Control C, Control V, duplicates. What we have this, we now have this. What we're going to do is we're now going to blur this with some Gaussian blur. Just kind of tweak it until it looks ideal. Somewhere around there, I think, for this one. What we can do is we can now merge all our layers. And here it is essentially. We're done at this point. But we can um, give it some additional editing. You know, just clean it up a little bit. We can also crop it down, and this will simulate how much of it you can see in your camera and how much of the lens would play on your sensor. Crop it down as much as you like. Uncrop it. Whatever. You're essentially done at this point, though. That's, that's it.